Uh, Dallas Mavericks. That's where I'm from. Grew up watching them. Grew up watching Dirk, so. My cheerful nature? Ooh. I don't know, probably a lot my mother. Uh, definitely not my dad. <laughs> He's definitely not the cheerful type, but uh, yeah, I'd for sure say my mom always joking around and having fun, so. Coach Zahn, there's, there's nothing more than that. I mean, uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I, he offered me last season and it was a mistake for me not to take it last season. Um, and when he called me this year, talked to him on the phone once and knew that this is where I needed to be. It's definitely not easy. I mean, uh, finding clothes, that's one of the first things that comes to mind every time you go somewhere you have to buy you know, the tall sizes and it's not easy. Shoes, definitely not easy. When, when you go to like to Nike or whatever and let's say there's a thousand shoes available and then you click size 16, there's maybe 30. So it's uh, definitely not easy. Fitting in the bed, underneath doors, all that stuff. I mean, it's... If I wasn't a basketball player, uh, well, I was uh, going to school for finance and I actually had job offers that paid me more money than, and when I was going to Braunschweig my first season in Germany, it was a very small amount of money compared to what I got offered uh, in finance. So I'd probably be doing that. Oh, FIFA, for sure. I hate playing NBA 2K or any of those games. I'm horrible, first of all. Second of all, it's not realistic, so I like playing FIFA. No, not necessarily, but uh, I really like the pierogies. Uh, is borscht, is that Russian or is that Polish? Both. That's one of my favorites, for sure. Love that. Um, what else have I tried? Would you consider uh, like beef uh, tartare? Would you consider that Polish? Beef tartare? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think yes, yeah. Yeah, I like that as well. Nickname, I've had a few, I've had a few. You gotta say them. I gotta say all of them? All right, so uh, in high school, me and my brother were on the same basketball team, so he was grow, I was little grow. And then when he left, I was just Grow um, for our last name, Grossell. Uh, then in college, I was, uh, uh, they called me Country or Big Country because I was from Texas <laughs> and I liked country music, I guess. So uh, um, I've been called G a few times, a little bit. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, right now I've uh, kind of picked up playing chess. And I know it's a weird one, but I watched uh, The Queen's Gambit on Netflix and got me playing a little bit of chess. Uh, other than that, uh, I like uh, watching TV, I guess. Uh, work on, uh, I own some real estate properties, so I work on that a little bit. That's about it. Oh, Dirk, for sure. Brought a championship to Dallas, MVP, Dirk. Probably, uh, you know, role model's a tough one, because you know, you don't really know how these guys are off the court, you know. Uh, but as far as I can tell, LeBron does the right thing, uh, has a family. He, you know, does the right thing when, you know, everyone's watching, but probably LeBron. <sighs> For sure volleyball. For sure volleyball. And then I like to play golf, even though I'm horrible, so. 
uh, I'd wake up, I'd go to uh, uh, a place called Strong Food or uh, Clean Mat, I'd get an omelet. Uh, I'd go to practice. Um, then I'd probably get lunch from uh, the vegan spot. Uh, then either watch TV or hang out with my girlfriend in the afternoon. We're watching a show called Handmaid's Tale right now. It's really good, really good. I would describe it as significantly better than I expected. Significantly better. I, uh, when I started Googling the city, I started realizing like, oh, there's some really good restaurants and uh, that kind of stuff. And uh, coming from America, it's, you know, a lot cheaper than it is in the States. Or I was in France last season, that was really expensive. Um, but it's, it's nice. I go on walks a lot through the woods with, with my girlfriend and uh, it's very nice. Be honest. So I was in, oh, there we go. Okay. What did I expect? I expected um, it to be more like, a, you know, the Eastern Bloc. I mean, I, I, uh, I spent this, uh, uh, season in Astana and I was expecting it to be colder uh, to just I don't know to be more run down than it is I mean it's a very nice country it's very it's very nice uh, probably the Tesla Cybertruck I don't know it's a little controversial a little bit it's not everyone loves it but and when it first came out, I hated it. But now that I see it more often, I like it. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> what are my memories? Um, the one that I can think of the most is the first time I heard the national anthem play before the game and just getting chills. I mean, it was, uh, it definitely wasn't, you know, wasn't the A team that I was playing for. It wasn't, you know, I wasn't playing with LeBron and Kevin Durant and Steph, but uh, it's something, you know, that I'll tell my, you know, grandkids about. And, you know, 10 years from now, I'll, I'll tell my grandkids that, you know, hey, I was on the A team and 50 years from now, hey, you know, we won an Olympic gold medal, so.